It's the first time that we have Nordic women of Silicon Valley all gathered in one place. Um, and the event is organized by numerous um, Swedish agencies or Nordic agencies here in Silicon Valley, Silicon Vikings, we are professional and so on. Um, and I think it's really to bring visibility to the women from the Nordics who are here and have been, some of them have been here for 20 years, some of them have just recently arrived. Um, tonight we're going to be hearing about their perspectives of careers and leadership styles, how it differs in Scandinavia versus here, what are some of the things that we have brought with us from Scandinavia that are actually making things better here. Anytime you bring together so many women who are excited about technology, it's a really good thing. Um, we want more girls in technology, we want more mid-level women in technology, and first and foremost, I want to see much more executives in technology. My key message for this evening is really that all of us receive thousands of hours of negative feedback yearly, compared to just a few minutes of positive feedback. Come on, we should change that somehow, so I encourage everybody to start giving positive feedback. So tonight I'm just looking forward to meet all these fantastic people. Look how many people there is. It's just amazing. So, and also gets inspired by all these Nordic, really cool women that have started their tech companies. Again, thank you so much for including me in tonight's event, focusing on Nordic women in technology and innovation. And this is my first visit uh, as ambassador uh, to this area. I've been, um, I was appointed ambassador a year ago and moved to Washington. I am the first female uh, Swedish ambassador to the United States. And sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I get very annoyed uh, that this is a factor uh, that you, I mean, it's very nice of you to give me applause, <laughs> but that we haven't come further. Uh, no country has yet achieved uh, total gender equality, but according to the World Economic Forum's Global Gender Gap Report, on title, the Nordic countries uh, consistently uh, are top ranked uh, in the areas of economics, politics, education, and health for women. These ladies have learned some serious stuff that I want them to share with you so that you can kind of get inspired and say, no, maybe it's not so scary. Maybe I should bring that part of myself with me to work as well. Anybody who doesn't think they're a leader, that's a problem. Because we are all leaders. We are CEOs of our own lives, first of all. I know it's a cliche, but it's correct, right? There's nobody else managing your own life. And we are also the people who can think of ideas, who can stay true to our values. And so it doesn't matter whether you have got people report to you. People see that you're good with people and that you can bring out good things in people. You can make things happen. Sometimes perhaps you get moved into that too fast. And depending on your personality, I think, I think it's not for everyone, but based on your personality, for me, the team was always more important than my individual needs and wants. The company, the team was always first. So I'm your overall generalist. I even studied something they called organizational management and leadership and strategy, what, what have you. And because, and, and you, to fairly good people skills, communicational skills, I always thought that those were the reasons that landed me in different exciting job opportunities on the consultant side, on the corporate side, and I've done this and that, communications, marketing, business development, strategy, uh, running transformation projects, this and that. And my challenge really is that I get excited too fast. All my academic research connections, which were many and this huge international network, was totally useless for me starting out in business. So I kind of had to start from scratch. So one of the things that, that I did was actually seeking out one of the accelerators programs.